2017 was a momentous year for Freemasonry, as we marked 300 years since the founding of the world's first Grand Lodge here in London. The special meeting of Grand Lodge held at the Royal Albert Hall on the 31st of October last year was the culmination of a year of proud celebration by our members in provinces up and down the country and in our districts overseas. Some 4,000 of our members came from all over the world and were joined by the Grand Masters and other representatives of 136 overseas Grand Lodges. It was certainly a special meeting of Grand Lodge, for very few people at the Albert Hall knew quite what to expect. As well as being the biggest meeting of Grand Lodges ever held, it was also rather more lively and colourful than would normally be the case, because we had several ambitious aims. We wanted to reaffirm Freemasonry's values, our principles and tenets, which are as relevant today as they were back in 1717. We wanted to show the enormous and positive impact Freemasonry has had on Western thought and society, including among its members many famous figures from the worlds of philosophy, music, drama and politics, and many others. We wanted to show the journey of each initiate as he comes to an appreciation of the fundamental goodness of Masonic teaching. We wanted to tell the history of the United Grand Lodge of England and of Freemasonry more generally, from before its official founding up to the present day. We wanted to show that in continuing to inspire many thousands of people worldwide to strive towards self-improvement and the welfare of their fellow creatures, we have a bright and confident future. And finally, we wanted to show that we are also a happy institution, communicating happiness amongst ourselves and to the wider world. The wonderful stage of the Royal Albert Hall allowed us to present a dramatic and musical representation of our values and our history which, we hope, properly recognised the contribution of those first founding lodges in 1717 and showed how their legacy is cherished and continued to this day. We all derive great satisfaction and enjoyment from our order, as well as being challenged and inspired by the moral lessons it imbues. I hope that as you watch this recording of the show, you will share in that sense of pride, wonder and enjoyment communicated by those who took part.